Hello. I'm going to talk to you today about using Curriculum for Wales uh, documents to plan learning. How does that work in practice? So we're going to look at the practical side of things and we're going to focus today on the descriptions of learning. How can you use those documents? Maybe you're, you're working in PPA and you're thinking about um, accessing the Hub website and actually using them physically to plan the learning. So I'm just going to share my screen and so we can walk through the process. Okay, so we're on the front page. I'll just you move my little video down to the bottom there. Okay, so we're on the Curriculum for Wales page on Hub. We're on the front page and you can see the documents at the top there. We've got all of the um, legislation, designing your curriculum, all the guidance documents. And then as we go down, we've got the areas of learning and experience. And because I'm a former English teacher, I'm going to go to my area of expertise, languages, literacy and communication. So let's open up that. And we're looking for the descriptions of learning. And we can see they're there, number four. So let's click on the descriptions of learning. OK, and we're going to have a look at all of the four what matter statements. So the descriptions of learning are organised under the four what matter statements. So let's have a look at the second one here. Understanding languages is the key to understanding the world around us. So this focuses in on listening and reading and the skills involved in those two areas. So if we open it up, we can see we've got progression step one, two and three. And this is um, English and Welsh first language. And on the right hand side, we can scroll across. So we're going to go down. We're going to scroll down until we find a reading skill. OK, so we've got here, we've got I can infer meaning from text and images. So this starts at progression step two and continues at progression step three. And you can see if you hover over the words that it provides you with the definition as well as the Welsh translation. OK, but as we know, Curriculum for Wales is focused on progress. So whenever I'm teaching something, I want to think about not just um, where are they going, but where are they coming from as well. So I need to see the whole of the skill, how it progresses all the way from foundation phase all the way up to key stage four and on to key stage five beyond the Curriculum for Wales. So let's just scroll across and look at progression step four. So now we've got progression step four up here. So progression step three is here. Ah. But you can see now that what was inference and deduction has disappeared and we've actually got grammar instead. So we have got, if we scroll back again, okay, you can see that it doesn't track easily horizontally across when you scroll across. And I, I found that you have to have the, the statement that you want the skill that you want right in the middle of the screen so you can see that inference and deduction and to progression step three let's scroll across progression step four and you can see there it's at the top so we can still see that as we go across but this is this is difficult and with a lot of these statements it's not immediately obvious it is with inference and deduction because you've got the two um, definitions there but with some of the others that don't have definitions included it's not immediately obvious when you're on the wrong skill when it hasn't tracked neatly across on the website. So what we've done is we have thought about what teachers would want and we've put these uh, all of the descriptions of learning into a single document. Because I think as teachers, you want to see the whole thing all in one go. You want to be able to, to see how everything fits together and how it all works. So for example we've got down the bottom here this is the language literacy and communication english and welsh first language we've got the different what matters statements so the one that we were looking at was understanding languages and you can see again we've got the what matters statement at the top and we've got the progression steps across and you can see here that we've got these are our our headings these are not on the actual document themselves so just be aware of that it's just for organizational use that we've got the skills grouped by topic and then we've got um, the skills as they go across you can see how they track across all five progression steps in one go so let's go down to the one that we were looking at before in reading comprehension inference and um, deduction and you can see how simple it is as it tracks across all of the um, progression steps um, all in one go on one screen so it would be much more um 
much more much simpler to see it all in one go and of course we've done the same for numeracy maths and numeracy it's a slightly different document because obviously we have the proficiencies at the beginning so we've put the proficiencies as they appear in, in maths and numeracy are available on the front and then of course we go into the skills and it's the same we've got the progression steps and you can see this one's just made slightly bigger let's make it a little bit smaller so you can see them all in one go there we go progression step one through to five and that's on all of the skills as they go across algebra geometry and so on i'm just going to stop sharing my screen if you would like a copy of those documents we are sharing them for free because we feel it's important that they're available for teachers to make sure the curriculum for wales is an easy um, framework to actually build on and create your own curriculum in your local school just drop us a line or comment on this tweet and we will send you um, a free document a free share of both of those documents <laughs>